church streaming services, following from home and more. Now, uh, some of us are, of course, very sad about not being able to attend Holy Liturgy and partaking in the Holy Eucharist, of course. But um, we can stream, we can follow the streaming that uh, many of the churches have. And I am Christian Orthodox and I have, a, I'll leave a link below for you. You can actually hear the service in English. It's um, performed just as it was in the early Christian church. A very uh, large amount of praise for our Lord Jesus Christ. The prayers that were written by the saints themselves, the early saints of the early church. And you'll hear the hymns of the uh, early church as well. And uh, the, the words are in English, so you'll be able to understand them. But uh, I, uh, of course, we can't partake in the Holy Eucharist. So what I did was I had some um, showbread from what they give us at the end. And uh, I took a little piece of that and I poured myself a little bit of red wine in a, a wine glass, a little, a little bit of red wine, enough for three sips. And uh, while uh, the priest was giving Holy Communion to people in the church, which were very few, I guess it were the, the wives of the priests, because, you know, the priests in the Christian Orthodox can be married priests. If you're an Archimandrite, of course, because an Archimandrite is considered to be uh, able to be an abbot in a monastery, you cannot be married. And uh, above that, Archimandrite and bishop, of course, bishops are not married. And um, so we have the, they had most probably the uh, wives of the priests there and some uh, a baby, I think, also had Holy Communion. And uh, one of the altar, one altar boy carrying their, You'll see that they carry the lamp. The lamp, the uh, candle, represents an angel going before the uh, holy gifts. But anyway, I told my priest here at a little church, as I was talking to him over the phone, I said, you know what I did on Sunday? I have to tell you, and I hope it's not a sin, but I took a little bit of the showbread, and uh, I took a little bit of wine and put it in a wine glass, and at the time that the priest was giving the... Holy Communion, I also took the bread and the wine in remembrance of Christ. He said, did you say the words of the Holy Eucharist that the priest says over the, these uh, objects? I said, no, I didn't. I just was listening to the Holy Liturgy, but I took them. Uh, he says, that's fine. He says, that's as if you're praying over some uh, gifts that you've brought to the church, like... Uh, um, Artoclasia or something, when we bring some um, uh, special bread to be blessed. And he said, that's fine, don't worry about it, you can do that. So the, what I, I'm making this video so that I can put your mind at ease, so that if you'd like, you could do the same thing as well. And if you don't have any show bread from the church, take a little bit of bread and a little bit of wine, red wine, and uh, take them at the time of uh, the priest giving Holy Communion to his parishioners. Of course, most churches will not have parishioners, but they're allowed to have one priest and one um, psalter, one, one person uh, singing the hymns. And um, the, the Orthodox Church cannot have a holy liturgy just by one person, like one priest. You have to have at least a priest and someone else. And usually it's the other person in extreme cases, as we have now, is the uh, person singing the psalms, the hymns. So that's a priest and one other person that's considered uh, the um, ability to do, to perform the Holy Liturgy. The priest can't perform it by, if he's only on his own. There had to be somebody of the, of the laity there, so, um, of the, representing the parishioners. So this is what I'm, uh, I, I wanted to tell you, that you can somehow ease your, your soul and uh, your spirit, and uh, God sees what we're doing and he will help us. So that's what I wanted to uh, inform you about so that I wouldn't forget. And hopefully um, you'll, uh, I don't know, if, if you if you want to get closer to Christ, you can do that as well. And I'll leave a link below for you for the Holy Liturgy the past Sunday, and hopefully you'll um, enjoy it. Thank you, and God bless you.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.